Hi everyone. Sorry to have been away for a couple of weeks. Um, I actually been uh, very depressed uh, just about world events, um, which I don't want to devote this video to. I, I think everyone is pretty uh, downtrodden and just sick to death of hearing about violence and um, being frustrated with uh, those who attempt to come up with solutions being thwarted by the right wing, essentially. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, but anyway, so uh, I've been very depressed and um, I haven't really had the, um, I don't know, the energy to make a video or the zeal, um, but I'm trying to turn that around. And uh, it's always easy for me to talk about um, BPAL, so since I uh, ordered quite a few things um, over the past week or so that um, I was happy with, I thought I would talk about that first, so I'm going to. Um, first of all, uh, this oil, TKO, which all this I bought from um, people on the Facebook uh, BPAL Sales Madness page, so um, they were gently used. <laughs> And um, happily, I remembered that I um, had read reviews that alluded to this particular oil's ability. Can you see the label? Can you see the... That's what it looks like. Anyway, um, on the, uh, the forum where people leave their reviews, um, many people had said that it was just miraculous at um, putting them to sleep. Um, one woman said she um, got it for her husband and his post-traumatic stress disorder and it seemed to be effective. Um, so I thought, well, if nothing else, people say it smells like lavender and vanilla, so um, I, I'm sure that I would enjoy it no matter what, even if it doesn't have a soporific effect on me, which, you know, nothing is going to <laughs> keep me asleep through the whole night when there are noisy trucks and motorcycles waking me up. Um, but, it, like this morning, I slept through my alarm for 45 minutes, which has never happened in my life. Um, either that or, I have two alarms actually next to my bed. Um, this is Friday, so I had to go to work. Um, I have two alarms. It's like a backup system in case, in case the battery dies in one, the other one will go off and I won't be late, right? <laughs> so, um, this morning, and my alarms are set for about a quarter to six. I'm sorry, quarter to seven. <laughs> quarter to seven. So uh, I had woken up around 6.15 and I, because I think um, Evan was rolling around in his bed or something, I don't know. Um, and uh, I was angry, but I got back to sleep. Um, and in the morning, I, that's when I tend to have these really um, gripping dreams with a strong undertow. It's like I'm you are going to have a tough time waking me up, typically. Um, and, uh, yeah, so my alarm went off and I was upset about the alarm and the fact that I had to get up before seven. And then I went into the kitchen where we have two more clocks and it said 7.30 on both. And I thought, well, that's funny, isn't it? Because they're both wrong. <laughs> but they weren't, they were correct. So anyway, so I used the TKO last night. I don't know if it, this was responsible in any way or if it played a role, but this stuff is amazing. Um, it doesn't smell like anything else I've smelled from BPAL or anywhere else. Um, it's like lavender with um, almost, this won't mean anything to anyone, but the smell of my grandfather's bedroom. <laughs> Uh, it's like a, a, a laundry smell. Maybe I'm kind of conflating it with my blue eucalyptus and lavender um, detergent by seventh generation. A touch, just a touch of that. It's like a very blue lavender note with um, like sugared vanilla cookies. And at various times, it's like it. it the, the lavender comes and goes. It's very bizarre. But anyway, it's really soothing. 
I like it so much that I, um, I've never pushed this stuff on, oh, that lighting's much better, okay. <laughs> I've never pushed BPAL on um, anybody. Um, notably in this instance, my mother, because she knows of my addiction and I've shared my collection. I've like made her smell everything um, when she's visited. So I decided, okay, she has insomnia too. So why not try to get her a bottle or a, a decant or something? And someone from the um, Sales Madness page offered one up. And then she asked, what else do you want? So I told her and she's fulfilling some of my, um, my wildest VPAL dreams. And I sent her a package this morning um, with a bunch of stuff. Uh, a few things she wanted and some extra things that I think she'll like. So anyway, that was very cool. So TKO, two thumbs up. Um, I also ordered a full size, this is from, well, it's not all the way full, but um, I had received a um, an army of little goblin squirt testers of the um, hair gloss, and I was very fond of many of them, especially the Snake Charmer hair gloss, which, um, as an aside, since Snake Charmer is like 80 bucks, if you want to buy it from somebody, I was innovative and I came up with a blend of other oils that kind of smells like it. I'm very close to it, I will say, very close. Um, if you take um, Hollywood Babylon, I was wearing Hollywood Babylon and I thought, well, this smells a lot like Snake Charmer. If I add snake oil to it, I bet it'll smell a lot like it. So it does. Um, it does. Try it, you'll like it. Um, so, yes, so I ordered a full size smut because someone was selling theirs and I tell you what okay it's really hot in New York City um, or it has been for the past few days and the humidity while not as bad as Florida um, my hair is challenged and this sprays out so well you know with the, with the testers you just get a little squirt and then you have to kind of work it through your hair um, I, last night I didn't want to do my hair, I got out of the shower and I kind of let it air dry and then I sprayed this in and the curls um, were just so, it was like they had been, it was like a, an, like a perm or something, <laughs> they were just so nicely um, separated. So uh, yeah, um, change, you can convert your frizz into curls if you have curly hair with this stuff. And um, I just, I, I can't, I have nothing negative to say. It doesn't make my hair greasy. It seems I can spray it multiple times um, in the same spots, you know, not all in one session, but um, I spray it and then, you know, a few hours later, you want to redo it and it doesn't get greasy at all. So, and the smell, if you're familiar with smut, it's, it's, it's just delightful. Um, it smells like the New York Ren Fair. Um, <laughs> And, all right, what else do I got? Uh, I had um, ordered some imps from someone who was selling a bunch of really good imps. I will say I wasn't as, I'd been wanting to try Goblin and O. And uh, I feel like O and Goblin are both replaceable by multiple other BPAL oils. There's nothing really unique about these. In fact, O, which is, I believe, amber, vanilla, and honey, um, it's along the lines of um, uh, mouse's sad and long and sad tail, sad and long tail, whatever the fuck it is. I can't ever keep it straight. Um, very, very close to that. And, well, Chimer is actually much better. It's a cinnamon honey. I think it, that's what it smells like to me. And this doesn't have nearly the throw of either one of those. Uh, so if you're wanting a honey blend, this isn't the one. Go for Chimera, uh, the, the Mead Moon, if you can get it, which is one of my favorites of all time. Um, and Mouse's Sad and Long Tail, I don't even know if that has honey in it, but it smells a lot like this. <laughs> and Goblin, um, I don't remember all the notes. There's, it has kind of a, a, from the bottle, it has kind of a buttery smell. You put it on and it turns into Ask the Nearest Hippie. It's that, it's that um, 
particular patchouli. Uh, oops, my, my screen froze. And I also got from the same person, I'm gonna have to go in a second because we're heading to a burlesque show, Tattered Lace, which was an event exclusive. And um, it's pretty, but it's, there's nothing discernibly special about this. I, maybe I don't like the laces. If this has any kind of uh, floral note, maybe that's what's making it, I, maybe it's tea or something. It's just too, too delicate. I, I, don't, I don't like delicate. <laughs> so um, that probably won't get used. I'll, maybe I'll give it to someone for free as a surprise. But either the person, the person who sent me TKO or it might have been the person who sent me the hair gloss. I can't remember which one, but I got some frimps um, of which the best one was beer from the Marsh Woman's Brewery. And this is really different from anything I've ever smelled. It's like um, butter beer with a green note. Um, it's so weird, but 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 compelling. I mean, it's. Um, hang on, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It is earthy. Um, a beer flavored with marsh, arrow grass, yew berries, purple foxglove, and giant hogweed. So it's a, yeah, it's kind of a grassy, a grassy beer, which you wouldn't think that would work at all, but. It does. It's great, um, and I haven't looked. I haven't looked into getting a bottle of, of this yet or anything because I've been spending way too much money on BPAL and other things. So, all right. So that concludes the BPAL segment of this, and I probably have to go in a second. But I did also want to say, um, oh, oh, check it out. So uh, if you can even tell with this bad lighting. Oh, I, I, okay. Here we go. I ordered a. Um, I ordered a camera. Uh, kind of a GoPro knockoff that got great reviews. People say it has exactly the capabilities of a GoPro. Some say it's even better. Um, and I've been waiting for this to arrive. It's coming from like around the world. It's, it's called a, um, mm -hmm. it is the SJ Cam, SJ4000 Wi-Fi 1080p 1.5 inch LCD action camera, sport. <laughs> And a selfie stick, so I'll be able to film outside and you won't have to deal with any of this um, weird lighting on my face anymore. It's highly unflattering. Um, so I'll take care of that and, uh, and, and go on some Ren Fair adventures. So the Ren Fair starts in, the New York Ren Fair uh, and the Pennsylvania Ren Fair start in two weeks, three, no, three weeks. So um, I'm very eager to get some footage from that, and I think you'll like it, and I think I'll get more hits because people will go looking to see, oh, what's the New York Ren Fair like, and they'll look it up and they'll maybe hit my video. Um, so videos, there'll, there will be many, um, with my fun friends who love dressing up. Um, and I wanted to get into my friend, frenemy's response, my, her final reply to that chain of emails, I'm not going to I don't have time for that. Um, the last thing I wanted to say was uh, this eyeshadow. All right, can you see? It's like, oh, my chin looks huge. You see, this, it's, I'm all distorted, but uh, here, see that? Okay, um, what I tried to do was replicate the um, Lady Morgana from, uh, um, uh, you know, You know the show, um, Merlin. Merlin, which a friend of mine, uh, one of my Ren Fair friends, my witch friend, uh, turned me on to. You know, four years after the series concluded, but um, better late than never. So this is one of my favorite things, and I love evil Lady Morgana's eyeshadow. Her whole her whole look. Um, in the third and fourth seasons. So I got this very cheap, well, it's actually nine bucks, which I thought it would be cheaper because the brand is um, Prestige, which is a cheap brand, drugstore brand. Um, I've actually enjoyed using their, 
lip pencils, um, like forever. Um, most days that's all I put on my lips and I just fill it in and that's it. I hardly wear any makeup at all. It's just the lips, the lip pencil and I'm done with skin as oily as mine. Uh, lipstick is a huge risk uh, because the oil from my face is probably going to make it go everywhere, but the lip pencil tends to hold up fairly well. So anyway, so I got this eyeshadow that is, a, I think, a really good, um, a close match to what she wears as evil uh, Lady Morgana, and I did that today. Um, see? I think the color, the name of the color was Hypnotic or Hypnotized or something, but it's it's like a, it's very close to my um, eye color. Um, sparklier than my eyes, of course, because it's it has the shimmer effect, but you see, you see, it's almost the same. Um, so yeah, so that's fun. I, and we're going to a burlesque show, so I'm going to sign off now and wish you a stupendous weekend. And when I come back, I'll talk about more life stuff, which might be boring. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so see you later. Bye.